checking out my YouTube videos of uh, my unboxings and if you're wondering how I store and display some of my comic books and how I categorize all my vast comic books, please check out the following video of my review of Zap Kapow Comics, the classy collector slash nostalgia who do custom displays to show comic books. I hope you like this video very much. Hey everyone, it's Ephraim here from Passpoint One Comics. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like and notification button. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. I'm going to have some comic books to show you in a little bit, but I want to do a couple of reviews, um, change things up a little bit. The first one is called Zap Kapow Comics. It's a comic book collection management and price guide. When I first started collecting comic books, I basically just used an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet. I would just type in every comic one by one. As you can probably guess, that's very time consuming and it didn't get far. I really was looking for a program that I can put my comic books into, into so I can categorize them and know where they are at. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of them out there, but the one I chose was, as I said, was called Zap Kapow Comics. What I look for when I, when I was looking for this site is um, ease of use, updates, and uh, customer service. You know, that's a must for me, and they hit it out of the ballpark. Here's a picture of the front page. As you can see on the upper right-hand side, it says search, my comics, updates, and random. If you press uh, my comics, it tallies all the comic books that you have. It even breaks it down from publishers. It, could, it has Marvel, Image, DC, um, others, you know, basically whatever percentage you have of these comic it gives you. The next page is price updates. So it just tells you when prices are going up and prices are going down. And the next one is random. This basically, it says, want to discover some long lost forgotten titles? Spin Zap Kapow's roulette wheel of comic books. Basically are just random comic books that you probably, you may not collect and it just gives you updates on them. One of the main points, like I said, was customer service. In the past, um, I've sent them emails, like if they're missing a cover, and I'll show you an example of what I mean. What you would do is you take a picture of the cover that you're missing, you give them um, the name of the book and the number, and then they will put it in next month's update. And they get back to you really quick. When I send them an email, they most of the time they reply in less than an hour. I mean, to me, that's great customer service. Or if I can't find a title under the search button, you know, I look, I look, I look, and I just can't find it. I send them a, an email, hey, I can't find this comic book title. And then they get back to me right away saying, here it is, you know, or we, we don't have it. We're going to put it in next month's um, updates. So once again, this is, like I said, that this is the service that I use, Zap Kapow Comics. And to me, they're grade A number one. So I'm going to set up for my second review. So give me a minute, please. And I'm back. So my second review is a site that I found on Instagram. They actually have two sites. First one is called Nerdstalgia and the other one is called The Classy Collector. I'll have their link also in the description. As I stated before, I have a lot of boxes where I put my comic books and I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So I found their site and they basically make uh, furniture for you but also where you can put your comic books. And here's the first one. This one is called the quad. And the reason it's called the quad is because there's four rows per uh, top and bottom. As you can see, uh, the top quad is for comic books. And the bottom quad is for CGC uh, books. They have handles on the side. So when you lift them up, you know, it's easier to move but they're quite heavy. <laughs> so I have to take out comic books and then lift it up and move it. You know, when I got this one, you know, they basically do you, to your specifications. What I should have done was pull out drawers, but I didn't think about it, but I still like this setup a lot. So I'm gonna open up the top so you can have a better view of it. And here's where the top part, like I said, is just comic books. And the bottom part is um, CGC books. You know, you can see them. 
so which which I like they're not, they're not just in a box put away in your closet so you can also transfer or move around pictures like this one here and they're both the same picture but you get the idea you can just put in different uh, comic books um, whenever you want to so uh, I'm going to show you my other setup over here um, this one is called the Titan so if you just follow me please Oh, if you want to see a picture of my little dog, it's right here. Kaya, <laughs> thank you. So uh, before I show you the Titan, this is, I didn't get this from Nostalgia or uh, the, the Classic Collector. This is something my daughter got actually on uh, Craigslist. And, you know, she didn't want it anymore. I think I asked for it and it's perfect for my comic books. And she'll show you um, my little setup here. This Wonder Woman here is actually signed by Linda Carter. Her autograph is down there at the bottom, if you can see it. Yeah, this was perfect for my comic books. I mean, it has all these little cu cu cubicles where I can put everything in there, basically. <laughs> As you can tell, I've filled it up to everything that I have. Yeah, it came in very handy, I must say. And I got it. She got it for free. So that was the best part about it. Okay, so let's go. Uh, oh, yeah. Or here are my birds. I know you've heard them chirp a little bit. I got uh, three cockatiels. Okay, now let's go over to the uh, Titan. This is the first one I got from them. And the top part right here. I did this myself. It was a white cover, but I decided to cut out some comic books, and they're not expensive comic books. <laughs> and I just pasted it on the top uh, top part of the cover. So lift, let's lift it up. Um, like I said, this one is called the Titan, but it's almost it's like the same uh, setup as the other one, but it's not quad. You know, this is five uh, five slots here. The three middle ones are comic books. And the two outside ones are CGC books. And again, like the other one, you can uh, take one out. And this one has an actually had a different one in there. So every now and then, you know, I just you know just mix them up for a change of pace. So like I said, um, they're called Nostalgia and the Classic Collector. It's a really good site on Instagram. If anybody is looking for something different than just putting comic books in boxes, I really recommend um, giving them a check and seeing how they uh, are this is hey uh, my camera person my daughter cut me off by accident sorry so what I was trying to say is um, if you go on Instagram I'll have their link below me you go to Nerdstalgia or the classic collector you know look at their pictures of everything that they have available and if you send them a message they'll get back to you and you know hopefully you'll like what you see Okay, so I'll be right back in a minute to show you my comic books. Before I go any further, I had the chance to join this great group in Instagram called Yancey Street Syndicate. I joined, or they, they let me join about two to three weeks ago. Um, like I said, it's a really great group, like-minded people as myself, whose passion is comic books. If you have a chance, check them out. Uh, their link is also below in the description. One more thing before I get to my comic books that I've gotten this week. Um, my last video had my 100 subscriber a giveaway and I wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody who subscribed and who commented on that video. And once again, uh, congratulations to uh, Slim Comics and More for being my first ever uh, subscription raffle giveaway winner. As of now, I'm at 130 subscribers, so I need 70 more subscribers to do my 200 raffle uh, subscription giveaway. So join and uh, let's get going with my uh, recent pickups. As usual, these are the ones that I've gotten within the last week or so. Uh, the first set um, is an Instagram group that I've mentioned before, uh, JT Ripple Pressing and Recasters. They do a, uh, a weekly, um, they go to a comic book store where they're at near, I think it's New Jersey. And uh, today is comic book day at the local comic book stores, the new ones that have gone out this week. 
and they do a live video feed and whichever ones you want, you just tell them. Uh, this first one, I actually won from them. They had a little um, raffle uh, last week. It's Dark Knight's Death Metal, Legends of the Dark Knight's number one. That was jazz, you know, I got this one, you know, I just happened to be the winner. <laughs> and this next one is Punchline number one from uh, DC Comics. And as usual, I'm going to have a picture of all my comic books right next to me here. Better view of them. This one is The Magnificent Ms. Marvel number 16. I have been catching up on my comic books. Um, so I'm um, reading a whole bunch every day um, in between binge watching shows on Netflix and Hulu and wherever I can find shows that I like. <laughs> this one is an homage, I believe, to Amazing Spider-Man number 300 is Dynamite. I believe this is Vampirella on the cover, but zombied, zombified, I should say. Uh, this next one is The Flash, number 765 by In Hugh Lee. Uh, vent oh, this, this one I got actually from another person on Instagram who sells. Um, his Instagram page is called Rad Hulk Dad. Bought this from him last week. Just got it a couple days ago. When I got this one, I just didn't know who, who I bought it from. Sometimes I get so many comic books, I'm just saying, who did I get this one from? You know, I didn't know until it popped in my head, I got this on Instagram. So I did thank him for it. Uh, this next ones I got are from a Facebook group that I uh, follow. It's Amphorus Inc. I believe this is a New York Comic Con exclusive to uh, Dark Red number one. It's a... Um, Another variant of number one. Number one came out like over a year ago, but they keep on, you know, producing these variants. And if I see it, of course, I have to have it. This is the uh, Virgin copy. It's, I haven't read this series yet. I, I gotta read it, you know. So um, I believe um, they are, va you could tell that's a vampire. And to me, it looks like a 1980s pop singer. Um, she's still around and uh, see if you can guess who it is. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Here's a regular copy of it. The next couple of books um, I got were all crossover variants. Um, it's a group, another group on Facebook called, um, it's 616. This is the very first time I've bought from them. Um, you know, so far so good. You know, to me, the criteria when you buy books is um, hopefully the comic book comes in good condition or great condition. No creases or burnt or, uh, you know, covers that are um that have creases in them and anything bad you know is no good and their packaging was you know top notch so no complaints here this is a virgin copy of um crossover number one this this is an homage i believe to uncanny x-men number 120 or 121 uh the one that has uh wolverine and kitty pride on the cover The next one. And like I said, these all came from um, 616. And I got two more from them. And this one. So uh, my last set came from the Comic Mint. Um, I've mentioned them before in previous videos. The first one is from Shannon Mayer, artist. It's Amazing Spider number 49 with uh, Spider Gwen on the cover, or Ghost Spider as she is now known as. And it has uh, Spider-Man and uh, the Green Goblin in the background. And um, here's the uh, virgin copy of that one. Now, this next one I also got from the Comic Men. It is another crossover variant. Um, the owner of um, the Comic Men, Stephen, um, is a very great guy. Sometimes he does free giveaways, but you have to be on you know, Facebook when he gives them away, or if not, you're just going to miss out. And I just happened to be on there when he was giving this one away. 
This is an homage, I believe, to a 1980s pop song. Uh, I think the group was AHA. It's a crossover. Um, this is done by uh, Donny Cates. Um, and actually, he's going to be doing a signing at CGC. So I'm thinking I may uh, send this one to CGC to have him sign it and, um, you know, get it encapsulated and hopefully come out with a 9.8. Uh, my, my last one is not from uh, the Comic Mint. I got it um, last year, I believe, from San Diego Comic Con. Sometimes when you go to certain panels, they give away uh, freebies, and they happen to give away this comic book. It's Silver Surfer Black. Um, the reason I'm showing it to you is it's also by Donny Cates, and hopefully I'll send this one in with this one to get it um, graded at CGC and get his signature. And they only give away a handful of these. If you weren't at the panel, you know, you just didn't get one. So I, I was at the panel and I did get one. So um, these are the comic books that I had for you this week. It was a short list. I didn't get that many in the mail. So hopefully in the coming weeks, I'll have more to show you. Uh, before I go away, I'd like to thank uh, my director, producer, camera person, my daughter, Serena. Hopefully, um, one of these days she's going to co-host with me. I asked her and she said yes, so uh, keep your thumbs up. You know, Hopefully, we'll have that for you really soon. Um, I'd also like to thank my screenwriter, linguistic coach, and my tagologist, my niece, Sarah. Thanks so much for all your help. And last but certainly not least, Wade, uh, thank you so much for all the info you gave me into making better YouTube videos. It's very much appreciated. So... That is all I have for you this week. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully everybody is with their family being safe. This is Ephraim from Passpoint One Comics. Take care.